everybody welcome back to my channel it's Julie here also known as Mrs England's Emporium I am a reseller and that means basically that is my job that is what I do to pay our bills and my husband Rob does it as well we're both work from home and we go out buy stuff to sell on the internet um, for a profit hopefully <laughs> that's usually how it works so this is a haul of things for my shop um, a lot of this is going to be clothing. It is quite clothing heavy today. And for the first time in ages, I am actually excited about the clothing that I've bought, uh, which is quite a huge thing because I got bored of clothing. I talk about it all the time on this channel, how I'm fed up of clothing, don't like picking it up anymore. It's too expensive. I never find good stuff. It's always got flaws. I found some brilliant stuff today. So bear with me while I show you what I've got. Um, there is some other bits as well. It isn't just all clothing, but most of it is. So you've got that warning to start with and it's ladies clothing too. If you enjoy the video, if you'll consider giving me a big th thumbs up, that would be amazing. I'd really appreciate it. Like and subscribe, hit the bell for regular notifications. I am still uploading Monday to Friday as of now. So fingers crossed that will continue as long as I can keep doing my videos. Um, if you would like to support me further, my Buy Me A Coffee link is in the description and there is super thanks and I'll give anyone a shout out that does that for me. I'm very grateful to all of you for being here and watching and supporting my channel and all the lovely comments that I get, so thank you. Um, right, as always, if you want to have a look at mine and Rob shops, they are on my channel. So you can go on there, you can follow the shop and if you buy anything, Pop a message in the comments, let, let me or Rob know, depending on who you buy off, that you watch the channel and I'll also give you a shout out for that. Okay, let's crack on. So, some of this stuff you're probably going to think, why did she buy that? But I couldn't leave it behind. That's the only reason. Right, so this was 6 99 and as you can see, they have took the time and effort to write, just in case we don't know that this is vintage on the label. <laughs> It's very vintage, very vintage, $6.99. So it's got a lovely working zip, which is always good. But look at this, a lovely, I don't know whether this is a christening gown or a little girl's vintage dress. I have no idea, but it's got this lovely, like lacy type front that obviously is lined with this lovely spotty material. It's got like a shorter sleeve, like a, three quarter length maybe half length sleeve with the frilly cuff and then it's got this lovely long skirt which is lined it's just beautiful it's got a little mark on the back right there but that's it that's the only flaw it's lovely 6.99 for that i couldn't leave it i just thought it was nice i need to do a bit of research i don't think it is a christening gown because it's quite big to be a christening gown up here but it could be so let me know what you think in the comments do you think it's a christening gown or do you think that it is just a vintage dress um i have no idea how much i'm going to put that on for it is probably going to head to my etsy store and on my ebay as well um but i can't unfortunately give you a price at the moment but if you follow my shop you will see so this was 6.99 as well this is a Hobbs London, size 12. This is beautiful. Um, a really gorgeous, like, teal colour um, dress. Sleeveless. I love this. I would wear this myself. And I think this is the problem today. I've bought a lot of stuff that I would wear myself. But a lot of it won't fit me, so that's good. Anyway, it's 100% wool, this dress. <laughs> it is lovely really nice really soft thank you um really nice really soft um lovely color i am hoping that i can get 40 pounds for that because i think it is really really nice um let me know what you think in the comments right and then i got this velvet is back in business so this is i don't know the make Graylin, is it Graylin? Graylin, it's an extra small. This was five ninety nine, and it is a velvet. 
what do you call it? Jumpsuit. It's not a play suit. The play suit's the one with the short legs, isn't it? This is a jumpsuit. How nice is that? It is this lovely velvet, um, like red velvet jumpsuit. It's gorgeous. Now, I need to do a bit of research on the brand because I have no idea about this brand, Graylin. Um, but it looks good and it's quality. So, again, I can't put a price on that right now, but I'm going to do some research on that and hopefully come up with some good stuff. I mean, velvet is good anyway. You can pretty much pick up velvet in any brand as long as it feels good, as long as it's heavy quality and it will sell. It will sell. Right, Joe Browns. Um, haven't been picking this up for ages, but these are a size 14, really funky trousers. Um, they were £3.25. That's all they were. Um, really nice. They like what I call the curtain material. <laughs> like a vintage curtain material. Black with this lovely, shiny floral pattern all over them. Really nice. Um, I hope I can get 15 for those. I think they're lovely and I think they'll sell quick because they're quite unusual. Right, Rob found this for me. So a big shout out to the husband who is currently doing my lunch, which he sat down here. That's why he came in before. Eight pounds for this. Don't even know how to pronounce it. I'm just going to say the names. It's the names. I'm just going to say the letters. It's M-S-C-H Copenhagen. Um, we had a look online while we we're in the shop at the comps on these and some of these coats can go for quite a lot of money um but i think there was one listed but it was a long coat um and it was listed for over a hundred pound this is a puffer jacket it's quite short um it's got a nice gold zip and um, what does it say here it is a i think that says filter jacket I don't know. Anyway, it's very nice. Um, I need to do a bit of research in this because I don't know how much this is going to go for. What is this? They've got um, a, um, a, a, what do you call it? A 50, 20% 20, 20 off um, card in the pocket <laughs> for the white company. I'll just put that back in there. I won't be selling it with it. Oh, it has got some marks. But I'm going to have a go at washing that and see if I can get it out. For £8 and the price of this coat normally, I don't think it's a fail with the marks on it. I'm going to give that a good wash and see what I can get. So watch my shop if you want to see how much I list that for. Okay. This is lovely. Now... If you know, you know. That's all I can say. So this was three ninety nine, and they have cut the label out. But this is quite obviously a white stuff label. Um, it's a UK ten, which is to be fair the only bit I want to be looking for anyway. As long as it's got the size in, I'm happy. A lovely burgundy, very soft dress with this lovely lace overlay at the bottom really nice it's got a really lovely hem to it unfortunately the label's been cut off inside so i don't know what the material is it feels like it could be wool but it more than likely will be cotton so what i'm going to do is i will take a picture of this and i'll see if i can bring it up on google lens see if i can find this exact dress because it's quite unique i haven't seen this dress before um white stuff normally go for the really patterned jersey types so i'm hoping i'll be able to bring that up but i think i'm gonna go for around 20 on that fingers crossed i'll get it now i've got a blanket this was 3.99 it isn't as big as the ones i've picked up in the past but it is a squared and um crochet blanket in black gray and white really nice it's just a small one really more like a shawl or one you just put over your knees. I'm going to list this for around 15. I think it's lovely. It is handmade. There are no tags on it. Love those. We'll pick them up all day long. Then, oh, this is just too funky. 
I feel like I want to play a bit of George Michael to this one. <laughs> I can't even get it right. Hang on, hang on. What is going on with this? <sighs> it's one of them dresses that's got all sorts going on with it, so it's a bit confusing. Seven ninety nine. I paid for this one and it is a vintage collective london size medium which also says 12 again velvet dress and it's green and it's gorgeous and it's got this amazing 80s look neckline um it's just lovely with christmas coming up this is going to be a massive hit um these are expensive i need to do more research but have a look at that make on the internet and tell me what you think okay this is nice i saw this and i didn't even see what make it was before i decided i liked it it's like a pinafore dress or dungaree dress um canvasy rather than denim brown very nice and it is by <laughs> sea salt sea salt cornwall it was 5.99 and i think it's fab i'm trying to find the size on it the label has been i think it's a what does that say i think it says 10 but i don't know because it's um quite big for a 10 but then it might be um it might just be oversized I'm sure it says 10 there. Yeah. They've put it as a large, but the charity shop, um, charity shop, when they put the, oh, it's a 16, that's more like it. When the charity shop do their sizing on things, it ain't always right, so make sure you check it. But yeah, this is lovely. <laughs> Pinafore dress from Sea Salt. Never seen one of these before either. I'm hoping I can get 40 on that, but I may be aiming a bit high. We'll see. Then I got this, $6.99 for a weird fish cord dress. This is a size 12. What I love about this, I love the colour. It's a burgundy again. Um, obviously, it's a weird fish, but it's got this lovely like brooch <laughs> that's got all twinkly bits on it, on it as well. Um, it's just a really nice cord dress and it's got pockets. What more do you want? Hopefully I can get 30 to 35 on that because that's really nice. Um, I'm getting there, peeps. It's going to take me a while, this, because I've got quite a lot. Okay, this Gap dress. I don't normally buy Gap, especially when it's a small size. But this was 375 and it's a made with silk dress. It's actually 30% silk, 70% cotton, and that's why I bought it. Um, don't know how well it will sell. Um, I took a bit of a punt on it because I thought it looked nice. It's like a really nice beige colour. Could be worn to work, could be worn to the office, could be worn to a wedding. Um, it's quite versatile. It's got this nice fluffy sort of waterfall effect on the neck v-neck really nice don't know how much i'm going to put that on for i'm going to save for the purpose of the video 15 to 20 but it may be a little more maybe a little more this was two pounds it is a super dry knitwear jumper and it's a extra small gray um cable knit with the long sleeves really nice um, I don't know what the material content is. I will have a look. I like to always see. Um, I can't see it at the moment. Let me have a look. No, it's got a spare button. <laughs> but yeah, this is pretty nice. 12 to 15 on that, I think. Um, I mean, it might be a slow goer because it's so small and super dry is all over ebay right so i've got some more vintage bedding this is really nice it's a double set so i've got the two pillow cases look with the really nice um edges frilled edges 
and a great big duvet cover which I'm not gonna put out. I did open it up and have a good look at it in the shop. This cost two pounds. This will sell, I think, for around 25 to 30. Vintage bedding is really good. If you can be bothered to get it and check it and measure it all up and photograph it right, you can do well with it. But it is, it is a bit of a bollock. Right, this is a size small. It's another, <laughs> keep getting these, don't I? Still haven't sold one, but I will. And it'll be on my sales video very soon. This is a longer, um, I don't know whether it's leather or whether it's fur leather, but a vintage jacket. Um, brown, obviously, it's got that nice, it's almost red. It's lovely. Um, all the buttons are present. Let's see if there's actually a tag inside it. It's a button up one, it is not a, not a zip. Oh, hang on. This is genuine lamb leather and it is, um, yeah, this was two pounds. Really nice, look at the lining as well, it's real cool. I will probably list this for around 40, maybe a little bit more if, the if the comps come up different um yeah it's a nice one right i bought these and you're all probably going to think i'm crackers <laughs> not that you don't anywhere but <laughs> these were three pounds 75 and i bought them because they're marks and spencers and they don't look like they've been worn a pair of slippers with this lovely gold motif on the front um yeah they are marks and spencers i'll show you inside there's the tag look now, I don't know if this is a vintage tag. If anyone can let me know, that would be great because it does say St. Michael's over there, but it looks new to me. But then they could have been bought and then stored. Um, they're a UK 5. Yeah. Well, at least £10 on them. I know for 3 75 that's not great, but I may get 15 at a push. People buy their grandmas, their mums, slippers at Christmas. So that was the sort of idea behind buying them. Okay, right, two pairs of trousers I got here, which I'm going to list together and that's why I bought them. There were 225, these ones, and the other ones are 225 as well, but I'll show you these first. I used to buy this brand a lot, don't so much anymore. Nina Leonard, um, bought these because they are funky and they are 2XL. Um, they go look they go down into this kind of egyptian sort of pattern at the bottom um yeah they're nice not that i'd wear them but they're, they're funky they'll they'll photograph really well so yeah got those 225 and then i'm gonna bundle them up with this pair which are exactly the same really but just a different pattern these were 225 as well um nina leonard 2xl these ones don't have the funky pattern at the bottom, but they are still pretty funky. If you like funky trousers and you're 2XL, you know where to come. Um, so I'm going to list them together for 20. Put them up there. Hopefully they won't fall. Right, this, I've got a jumper in this brand and I know it's pretty good, but this is actually new with tags. So this was £4.50 and it is a Nomads size 16 skirt. Um, it's a fair trade fashion brand, if you haven't heard of it. And this is a really cool skirt. It's really nice. Uh, brand new with tags. Hoping someone will like that. Again, with this, I can't put a price on it because I don't know how much these go for. And it's brand new with tags. The other thing I've got is a jumper dress, which is completely different and it is used. And I can't remember how much it's on for, to be honest. So I can't even tell you. Now, this is cool. Um, this was three pounds. Look at this. I saw this bad boy across the shop and thought this has got to be something good. Um, it's got all this embroidery on it. And it looks like it hasn't really been used it says BCB, but then it's got G's on it as well and all sorts of other things. So it's a bit confusing. Um, but when you open it up, the brand is inside. BCB G's brand, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So I think this might be the kids version of it. So it's, yeah, it's BC, BCBG girls, but the G has been, so it basically says BCB 
girls but it's bcbg so i'm being thick there there you go so it is a decent brand this looks like it hasn't been used now i know this is designer because literally bought some from tk max recently um don't know how much i'm going to sell this for i need to do my comps on it but i'm hoping hoping because of the brand and the condition I might be able to get 50 we'll see let me know what you think in the comments and i also think it's not really aimed at girls so a woman might like that bag so i'm not necessarily going to brand it as a girl's handbag um right then i've got these four pounds these are b d g size 28 trousers so these are an urban outfit as brand from what i can gather just a pair of skinny like trousers with this checkered material um they're very skinny very small um again i need to research those for the purpose of the video so i'm not saying i don't know all the time i'm gonna say 25 on them um and then this is the first time i found these cabby jeans <coughs> they were four pound there we go i see people on instagram picking these up all the time and i have never found any these are high straight size four cabby jeans um yeah they're very small but i wasn't leaving them for four quid and i love it's got like a de distressed type yeah thing going on it's got some bits like like ladders in them and things they're really nice um again <laughs> i have no idea how much i'm going to list them for but they are pretty cool um i know that loads of people on instagram pick that up this coat was in the shop it was in the british red cross shop no, it wasn't. British Heart Foundation shop, I think it is. I'll look at the tag. That'd be a good idea, wouldn't it? British Red Cross. Um, the last time I was in there and I decided that I wasn't getting it because we'd got loads of stuff already. But I thought to myself, when I looked at it, I thought if it's still in there next time I go in, it's mine. So it was £8. It is a white stuff, um, wool mixed jacket or coat, sorry size 12 and it's this really nice green color it's beautiful it needs a bit of a debobble it's got hairs on it um but i don't care because i'm gonna make good money on it i can sort this out in no time all the buttons are there and um, it's got this lovely spotty interior i'll tell you the fabric content and it's got the old label as well so it's not vintage but it's not this won't be being sold anymore um, 49% wool, 44% polyester, 6% 6 acrylic, 1% polyamide and it's got a polyester and cotton lining. Um, you can dry clean it and that is it. But yeah, really nice. I'm hoping 40 to 50 on that. Fingers crossed. It's got that lovely woven knitted pattern there. It looks like plaits. It's really nice so yeah that was a good one right last thing no two things actually i've got two things i'll show you this first this is real cool this cost me a pound <laughs> it is a nokia fern bottle opener <laughs> how cool is that so i really like this and i thought you know what if it's not worth much we'll keep it because it's cool um but these are selling brand new for around 15 so I think I should be able to get 10 for it. Maybe 7 to 10. But it's nice, isn't it? <laughs> I used to have one of these phones. I love it. Right, and then the... Oh, no, no, I'm lying. I've got two more things again. They keep multiplying down here. This is cool. £4.50. And this is a Falstaff silver plated... Um, I don't know if it's a cake slice or a pie slice. Um, yeah, it's really nice. I looked online and it said that it was antique. Now, whether it is or not, I don't know. I'm not going to fall for that again after the Christian Dior fake leather thing that went on. But um, yeah, this is really nice. It's got this really nice pattern. It is, yeah, I maybe shouldn't be touching it because I'm allergic to nickel and it might have nickel in it. But yeah, I think that's lovely. £4.50. 
One of them is listed on eBay at the moment for £20 plus per stitch, so I was going to pick that up all day long. Um, that'll obviously go on my Etsy as well. Now I'm going to show you the last thing. So I picked this up. I don't know whether I've spent too much on this, so let me know what you think in the comments. But I've been wanting to buy something like this for a long time, but I can never find it where there's like all the pieces. And I do appreciate that this may not be all the pieces to this, but there is a brush and it's heavy as well, I will add. It's not a cheap reproduction. This is a vintage set. So we've got the brush that looks like it has never been used. Now, my mum had some of these on her dressing table when I was growing up and they belonged to my grandma. When my grandma died, my mum got them. She had two sets and they weren't used. And it always used to amuse me how they have these things on their dressing tables, but they don't use them. But I think it was just a thing. Um, so this one doesn't look like it's been used. There is probably about three hairs in it, which probably means it has been used, but very lightly. Um, there is a comb. The comb is a bit stained, but that's to be expected when it's old. And then there you go. You can see yourselves now. <laughs> a dirty mirror that needs a good clean. But look, there you go. Really nice, in really good condition. So this set was £5. Now, I do appreciate that. I think I've probably paid up a little for this, but I'm going to Google Lens it and see what I can do with it. It's going to go on my Etsy shop as well as my eBay. And I just think it's a really nice little set. It all goes together real nicely. Um, yeah, I like stuff like this. It's cool. Let me know what you think. Would you have bought that? I think it's really nice. And um, yeah. I'm going to sell it for about £500. I'm not really. I don't know how much I'm going to list that for. Um, realistically, it's probably going to be around £25. With best offer on. And we'll see how we go. I don't know though. I need to have a good look at it. And Google Lens it. And see what I can find out. Anyway, if you've watched it. If you've watched the video to this point. Thank you very much. Um... I want you to write Christmas is coming in the comments so I know and if you would like to support me on this channel you can give me a big thumbs up, you can subscribe, you can hit the bell for notifications of when I upload and you can also if you want to go that little bit further you can buy me a coffee, the link is in the description and there is super thanks next to the thumbs, I will give everyone a shout out that does that. If there's anything you like in my videos you can message me on Instagram and if it hasn't already gone on my eBay, I will give you a discount with you being a subscriber. Or you can look at mine and Rob's shops. They are on my channel. So the links are there. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all your lovely comments. I do try and read them all. I'm sorry I don't reply to everybody as good as I could. But obviously I'm busy and I do the best I can. But I will put hearts underneath to show that I've read it. And I'll speak to you soon. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care, guys. Ta-ta!